I think we are at an exciting moment in which we can merge science and technology with clinical care, and we can continue to advance the field at a speed that we had never seen before. To be a visionary, you have to be disruptive almost by nature. That's part of what made people uncomfortable around Jose. You know, change is painful. He was to oncology development what Jobs, Williams, Bezos have all been to the areas that they're in. Quite honestly, in the lab, Jose worked harder than anybody. Beyond that, he had these intuitive abilities that we just didn't have. When he got to Mass General, the place started to move and shake a little bit. They were starting to pull some things off in terms of the kinds of studies that they were doing. And it was a remarkable impact that he had, not just at the institutions that he, that he was at, but also just the ripple effect of what's possible. It's not an exaggeration to say that Jose literally put Spain on the map as an area for oncology research. He was hiring new people, new uh, oncologists, and new heads of the different departments. Uh, he was also trying to convince people to, you know, to create a new biomolecular uh, unit or genomics or, you know, a new uh, department of clinical trials. He was always trying to do new, new things and, and growing. We are in an urgent need to make sure that all this knowledge continues to be developed and applied to patients. He was tougher on himself than he was on the people uh, around him. And that the goal was always very clear. The goal is making a difference for patients. It's important for me that people rem remember him as someone who always prioritized his patients.